And the mouse performs really well. So this is the Dare You A955 lightweight wireless gaming mouse with RGB charging dock. And it comes in at about half the price of other comparable big brand mice with the same features. So this mouse is definitely worth a look at. So first let's open the package to see everything that it's included. So here we have the mouse and the charging dock. So the best thing about this dock is that it's very small and it's not going to take up a lot of space on your desktop. It does have these pins on top which are going to help to charge your mouse. It has a brand logo right on top. It's got a USB-A port right in front so you can connect your wireless dongle right on here. And looking at the back it's got a USB-C port to connect up to your computer. And looking at the bottom here it's got this nice RGB all around that's going to illuminate while you're playing which is really great. And we do see a button here that's going to allow you to change your RGB setting. And we have these nice feet at the bottom that are going to help to keep your dock in place so that it doesn't move around. So let's go ahead and give it a quick test. Yeah, this thing is not going anywhere, which is great. And here we have the Dare You A955 mouse, and it looks very good. Reminds me of my old Logitech 502 mouse. It's giving me those vibes. So let's go ahead and peel off the bottom here. Okay, as we take a closer look, you have the optical sensor right here. You have the two contacts here for charging up your mouse's battery. And it's important to note that this mouse has tri-mode operation. You can, you can operate it wired wireless with 2.4 gigahertz wireless and wireless through Bluetooth. And you can use a switch right here to control the different operation modes. Over here on the right, you have the button to pair your Bluetooth mouse. And right here, we have a little storage space for the wireless dongle. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop that open for you guys. And you see the wireless dongle right there. And let me go ahead and take it out. And here it is, it's actually quite small. And if you remember before, we could just insert it right into our charging dock. And I must say that it's a little weird that when you insert it, the logo is upside down. I don't know if that's just oversight or this particular dongle logo was printed upside down. But there you have it, you can easily plug in your wireless dongle in here. And then you can go ahead and hook up your charging dock to your computer using the included USB-C cable. Now, before we go any further, I would like to thank DareU for sending this mouse out for my review. Without them, this review would not be possible. Okay, now that I have have the mouse out. I'll tell you a little bit more about the technical specifications as I go through some of the other things of the mouse. Now these buttons feel very nice when you click them. They actually use their use KBS2 button switches that are fully programmable and the surface of the buttons are made out of a PVT material that helps prevent them from getting oily. Is I don't know if you have the same problem I have but my hands do get kind of sweaty and oily so that should help with that. Now going back to the bottom really quick, this is an optical sensor that can go up to 12,000 DPI. So the DPI is customizable. You can change your DPI just by pressing this button right on top here, which is really convenient. And going through the different DPI settings, you should be able to find a DPI setting that works best for you. Now I would like to note that if you're using the mouse in Bluetooth mode, you're not going to be able to access some of the higher DPI settings. So in order to use those higher DPI settings, I do recommend that you use the mouse in 2.4 gigahertz wireless mode. Or you can also plug in the mouse with USB wire and you'll be able to access them as well. So this mouse wheel here feels pretty good and it also functions as a button. So in total you have six buttons on your mouse that are fully programmable and you can go ahead and download the Daru software and driver to fully customize your mouse, whether you wanna customize any of the buttons to perform a certain function, or if you wanna control the RGB. So as far as battery life, you get about 120 hours. There you says that this should give you about 12 days of playtime on 2.4 gigahertz wireless mode and about 30 days in Bluetooth wireless mode. Now there are a few more things in the bottom of the box. Let's take a quick look. You have your user manual. You also get some stickers and this is really nice. You don't see with all mice. You do get some replacement feet because as we know, the feet sometimes wear out on the mice. So they do include that in case you wanna swap that out. And this is also kind of cool. You do get some grips that you can apply to the side of the mice to give you even more grip. So I know I'm probably gonna need that because like I mentioned, my hands do get a little bit sweaty and oily. So I'm gonna definitely give these a try. And finally, you get this nice braided USB-C to USB-A cable, and it is 1.5 meters in length. It does feel very good to the touch, and it's lightweight, and I'm pretty confident this will work really well and won't get caught in any snags. All right, so now I wanted to show you guys off the RGB of the charging base. As we see here, it's actually quite bright. It's a lot brighter than I thought it would be, and it looks really cool. See the RGB effects here? It goes all the way around the base, and it's definitely a nice plus in just having this black piece of plastic on your desk. It's definitely, it's definitely gonna make your gaming system look legit. Just look at these lights here. Very nice. So now let's look at the RGB on the mouse itself. 
It's actually not as bright as the base here, uh, but that's probably because we do want to save on battery. And here is a side RGB that we see right here. Now on the top of the mouse on the right hand side, you do have this nice RGB accent. It goes from about the middle of the mouse to the back of the mouse. Again, it does look very good. It's not as bright as I would like it to be, but maybe with the included software, I can make it brighter. It definitely would have been nice if there was some added RGB right around here. And there is some RGB on the bottom base of the mouse here. Now it's not as nice looking as the charging base. What you're basically seeing is the individual RGBs and you see them lighting up with the different effects here. It would have been much nicer if it had a ring around the entire mouse, similar to the charging base, but it is what it is for this great price. You do get RGB and this is on the mouse. And again, it's probably to save on the battery. You don't want to drain the battery with all the RGB. But yeah, I'm going to go ahead and play around with the Dare You software to see if I could change the RGB settings as far as brightness and the different modes of operation. Of course, I have to try it on a mouse pad and actually playing some games. So that's what I'm going to do now. I'm going to take some time to fully test out the mouse with all the games I play. And I'll let you guys know how well this mouse performs because if this mouse performs just as well as my other mice from big brands such as Asus, and Logitech, then this mouse that costs half as much as those other brands could be a great contender for a budget wireless gaming mouse. So I'll be right back with my thoughts on the Dare You A955 gaming wireless mouse. All right, so here we have the Dare You software for the A955 mouse. So we can see here, I'm gonna show you the mouse and go through the different options so you see how it controls the different lighting effects and so on. So the first thing we see here on the first screen is the key settings. You can pretty much change any button here to do whatever tasks you want. So for example, if you wanted to change this DPI button to do something else here, instead of looping to the different DPI options, we can make it like a fire key or we could run a macro and so on. That's pretty cool that you could pretty much customize any mouse button here to whatever action you need it to do. And you can also have up to four different profiles. And down here on the left, you could control the debound setting. Right now it's set to four milliseconds. And you can also export and import profiles as needed. Now going on to the next tab here, this is the DPI setting. So as you press this top button here, it's gonna cycle to the different DPI settings, for example. So right now it's probably like on the lower setting. So let me press the DPI button here and you'll actually see it cycle through. So right now it's on DPI one. So it's very slow to move. It's set to 400 DPI in that setting and you can adjust it. So if you want DPI one to start up higher, you can change it there. If I press it again, it's gonna to go to the next setting. You see it turn yellow here and that is at 800 DPI. It's so a little bit easier to move the mouse and I'm going to press it one more time here. And now we're at 1600 DPI and now it's much easier to move across the screen. Press it one more time and we're at 3200. That was getting pretty fast. And then the last one would be set to 6400 DPI, but this mouse is capable of going all the way up to 12,000 DPI. So if you need that functionality go all the way up to 12,000 dpi you could totally do that with this mouse and i'm just going to set it back to 6400 now you can have five dpi stages or you could just have three it's really up to you if i don't know if you want to cycle through five different ones to get to the setting you want i'll say three dpi settings is good for most people but it's good that you could go up to five if you wanted to now as far as the polling rate you could set it to 125 hertz all the way up to 1000 hertz and then we have a lift off distance you can set it to one millimeter or two millimeters so far the Lift off distance has been working pretty well with me. The A955 is a heavier mouse compared to other mice, such as the one from ROG here. So this one's the ROG Harp Ace, and it's a lot lighter than the Dare You mouse. However, it's like twice as expensive. So if you do want a uh, lighter mouse, that one is lighter, but more expensive. Now, some people may like heavier mice, such as the Dare You, and it's been working out pretty well for me. Sometimes I feel like this Harp Ace mouse is a little too light, especially with my big heavy hands. So any little light movement will move the mouse. However, with the Dare You mouse, I actually have to intentionally move the mouse to get it going. Now you do have other options here. You can set ripple control and angle snapping if you wanted to. You have mouse parameters here for mouse sensitivity. You can improve pointer precision. You have the scrolling speed. So as you scroll with this scroll wheel here which actually i'm pretty impressed with the scroll wheel here looked very basic but when you actually use it it feels very good and you can also control the double click speed so far the defaults have worked well for me but you can go ahead and change it if you need to now moving on to the next tab we have an area here where you can set up 
and record new macros. So you can just start recording things or you could set up a new macro, call it test, let's say. And then you could just start recording different uh, keystrokes and then hit save. So we got to stop the recording actually. And then you could just hit save. And now we have our first macro here. So if you're in a game and you want to run a macro again, you would go back to this screen and you could say, set the DPI button up here to run a macro. So you could just set it to run a macro and then you can pick which macro you want it to run. We'll go with test. And there we go. Now, whenever you press that, the button is going to do that macro. So let's give that a quick test. I'm going to go ahead and press this DPI button on top and it should spit out some keystrokes. And here we go. It's actually spitting out those keystrokes and it's doing it with the delays that were in place. So as I press the button, if there is any delays, it also saves that information, which is really cool. So that is the macro screen where you can create new macros and save it and then later assign it to one of the buttons on your mouse. Now, the last tab is the one where you'll probably be using the most is where you're changing the different RGB settings of your mouse. Now, it's important to note that on this screen, you can only change the color settings of the mouse itself. So all these RGB uh, lights that are available here in the bottom as well, you can set from this screen. However, you cannot set the RGB that's going around the space. So basically the RGB for this charging base is totally separate. And the only way to really change the color scheme is to look at the bottom here. And there is a button that you would press and you can cycle between the different lighting effects. And basically uh, there's about, I think four or five of them. There's one, two, three, four, four lighting effects, and then you could just switch it off. So it would have been really nice if the software also controlled the charging bases, lighting effects to match up with the mouse. Okay, so going back to the mouse RGB settings, right now it's set to streaming, which I think is my favorite mode. And you can see the RGB here as well. You have the RGB here on the side, and then you have the RGB here by these buttons, as well as the bottom here. Although the bottom, see how this looks over here where it's nicely illuminated. The bottom is just a few LEDs, so it doesn't really go all the way around. It would have been nice if the bottom of the mouse looked like that. So maybe in the next version, there you might do that. So you can pretty much look through the different lighting effects. Again, my favorite ones is streaming, but you could do colorful breathing as well. And basically it goes cycles through the different colors while it's breathing. That's one of the other cool ones. And the other ones are pretty much a steady color. So it could just be pink if you wanted to, but I'm gonna go ahead and put it back on streaming. Now you can also set it to turn off the light when you're moving the mouse. If you don't want the RGB lights to come on while you're moving the mouse, you can set that. And then we could set the dormancy time to anywhere between 10 seconds to 40 minutes. So if you wanna save on your battery life, you can of course set it higher to you know, 20, 40 minutes. I think I have it set to one minute right now, which I'm totally fine with, and I think that's a default. Now, one thing I don't know if you can notice, but the charging base is much brighter than the RGB on the mouse itself. Let me just turn it this way. And this is setting at brightness 10 that we see right here. So if we go halfway to like five, it's actually a little dim. Now, if you're using the mouse and the room is dark, then it'll definitely be bright enough. But I really wish that the brightest setting was as bright as the charging base, but it isn't. You can also control the speed. So if you want it to go super fast, you can just do that. But I'm going to go ahead and set it back down to about five or six, I think is good for me. And again, showing you this side and you can see right here, the different LEDs that light up again. I, I wish it looked more like the charging base. And that pretty much covers all there is to talk about the Dare Use software that's associated with the A955 mouse. So now let's continue with the rest of the review where I talk about this mouse and how well it works and is it worth it for the price. First of all, I do want to say that the Dare You mouse is literally about half the price of this ROG branded mouse. Now you may ask, what's the difference? And the main difference between these two mice, again, these are both wireless. They, you know, they both have RGB. But right off the bat, we see that the Dare You mouse has better RGB than the Asus ROG mouse here. The ROG mouse just has RGB here on the scroll wheel, whereas the Dare You mouse has RGB here, RGB right here as well as these LEDs you see at the bottom here. So in terms of RGB, the Dare You is the winner here, even though it's half the price of the Asus Harp Ace mouse. And again, these are both identical in terms of being able to be used wired. 
wireless, and Bluetooth. Now, in terms of the mouse buttons, the Dare You mouse has one extra mouse here, which right now is set to change between the different DPI settings. The ROG mouse does not have that extra button. And the other thing I want to note is that the buttons on the ROG mouse are a little bit smaller than they are on the Dare You mouse. Also, the buttons, I don't know if you can hear the clicking here, but the Dare You buttons are much more satisfying to click than the uh, ROG mouses. However, the Asus mouse buttons are a bit quieter than the buttons on the Dare You. So it's really up to you and your environment whether you can have you know a louder clicking uh, mouse or not. Now, in terms of the software that's associated with the different mice here, I'm probably going to have to say that the software winner is is the Asus ROG mouse is because it uses Armory Crate, which is a lot more integrated with some of my other devices on my computer, whereas their use software is just a standalone software and it's pretty basic. It just lets you perform the basic functions like controlling RGB and setting up some of your macros and so on. But the Armory Crate software for the Asus mouse is constantly being updated. You get you know updates for your mouse that you can do through there. For more updates so the winner there is the uh, asus mouse so i think the biggest difference between the dare you mouse and some of the other competitors like the asus rg harp ace is the weight and that might be one of the reasons you're paying more for something like the asus mouse is because they made it really lightweight and so what that translates to in game is that if you need to be able to do flicks like this when you're playing and just very fast movement, then the ROG mouse is going to be better off. But if you're not a fan of light mice like this one, the Dare You mouse has a good amount of weight to it. And sometimes I feel like you need that weight, especially for someone like me that has large hands. Sometimes I move this mouse without too much effort and this ROG mouse moves very effortlessly. So I could just like literally rest my hand on it and it moves, which could be bad in game, especially if you, you know, tend to twitch. Uh, in game this one requires a lot more effort to move and i just felt like the dare you mouse felt a lot more steadier when i was playing versus the rg mouse the other major difference between the dare you mouse and other mice is this charging base and this charging base is a winner here because once you're done playing you can just literally rest your mouse on the charging base here and just let it charge overnight and then the next day your mouse is fully charged and i much prefer this method of charging versus asus solution of just having a usb-c port in the front and then you just plug it in and charge it up although i don't need to charge that often it's still kind of a pain to look for the cable and plug it in whenever it's low on battery and sometimes i just want a game and so the winner there for you know charging method definitely goes to dare you so you're definitely getting a lot of value with the dare you mouse here with this little charging base and it's rgb i mean it looks really cool like especially when your room's dark